What's up guys, today's deck profile is a requested deck profile for card soldiers. I decided to go with Alice to further fit the theme. The deck revolves around flooding the field with card soldiers and using Queen of Hearts to remove threats on your opponent's field, and then using additional Queen of Hearts to recycle the card soldiers back. If you're interested in any of these cards, make sure to watch my giveaway videos. There will be a link for those in the description below. So let's get this video rolling. As always, starting off with the Magic Stones, I run one of the Water True Stone to further activate her J Activate ability for Swiftness and Flying, four Dark Fire, because most of the deck is Dark Fire, three Water Dark for Cheshire Cats and to also get a draw of her J Activate, uh, one Black Green just for the green in there for her J Activate, and then one Light Dark for the same concept of the light, so we can hit every single attribute. Starting off with the Card Soldier engine, I run 3 Queen of Hearts. Queen of Hearts allows you to banish 2 Card Soldiers to destroy a target Resonator. When she enters, you add 1 of every Card Soldier from your graveyard to your hand, and she makes them all cost 1 less to summon. Then 4 Spades. Spade gets 200-200 for every Card Soldier, so he's the main beast stick of the deck. Card Soldier Club, 4 of them, because when she enters, you look at the top 4 cards of your deck, and you can add a Card Soldier among them from your deck to your hand, and the rest gets sent to the graveyard. So she kind of like thins the deck and grabs any more Card Soldiers you might need. 3 Diamonds, when Diamonds sent from the field to the graveyard, it does 200 damage to a Resonator, so combined with Queen of Hearts, it's 200 damage when it's tributed after destroying another Resonator. And then 1 Heart, because any damage dealt to... Queen of Hearts is dealt to Card Soldier Heart instead, so it's not very useful, but I like having at least one of it just in case. For the non-Card Soldiers, I run 4 Laura and 2 Carmilla for removal. 2 Cinderella's because if Queen of Hearts can banish Card Soldiers, I don't see why Cinderella can't. 2 Cheshire Cats to be able to dig through your deck and get any combo pieces you might need. And 1 Dead Man Prince because he's searchable by Cinderella and if you can add a Queen of Hearts to your hand, and then next turn you play Queen of Hearts and add all the card soldiers back to your hand. It's just a lot, a lot of recycling, so it works really well. The spell lineup is fairly simple in the deck. I run two Necrocomicon to be able to further recycle Queen of Hearts and the card soldiers. Four Slippers of Cinderella, because Diamond, Club, and Cinderella are all 400-400, as well as being able to remove anything that's a little smaller. Four Stony to Death to be able to get rid of anything that Carmilla and Queen of Hearts are having trouble with, just in case there's more than one target or you can't keep up with so many card soldiers, it's really good for removing those. And then four Thunder just for 500 direct and small removal here and there. So that was my card soldier deck profile. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave a comment below. My next two videos before Moon Princess Returns will be two more requested deck profiles, so stay tuned in for those. When Moon Princess Returns drops, I'm going to have a ton of more box openings, deck profiles, and giveaways, so make sure you check those out as well. If you haven't subscribed yet, you really should, or else it'll be off with your heads.